usually one of London's most publicity-loving figures, Fast Eddie Davenport has been keeping a low profile since a bouncer was stabbed to death by gang outside a Park Lane sex party to which he was linked on New Year's Day. Now, the convicted fraudster has resurfaced 6,000 miles away in Thailand and is smiling for the cameras again. Eddie, 53, shared this snap online posing with some model chums in a Zuma restaurant at the five-star St. Regis Hotel in the Thai capital. A week in Bangkok, he wrote next to the picture, in an apparent reference to the song One Night in Bangkok from the musical Chess, which suits his checkered past. Share this article Share Grantchester Hunt Tom Brittany, who replaces James Norton as the dashing vicar in the current series, reveals he's got his sights set on being the next James Bond, despite the fact that Norton is tipped for the role. I would love to be Bond. And apparently if you even talk about it, you put your name in the ring, says the 28-year-old. You know that I worked with Bond producer Barbara Broccoli on my first ever film. So maybe she will be keeping an eye on my career. I have been doing Israeli martial art craft maga lessons. I think I look okay in a tuxedo, and I'm a raging alcoholic. No, just kidding. So, I tick a few boxes. Apostrophe playwright Sir Tom Stoppard has been given a dressing down for not dressing up for his own 80th birthday party last year. U.S. author Joseph Epstein says Stoppard epitomizes the new Schlipporistian fashion shared by many of his disheveled thespian guests. Michael Gambon, who seems to have forgotten to brush his hair, Ian Glenn in flip flops. Jude Law in a wife beater undershirt exposed under an unbuttoned shirt, and the birthday celebrant himself unkempt and wearing an emphatically rumpled chambray work shirt. Apostrophe, it was a party, Joseph, 